all black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruits at the gate! Is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Okay. Built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Mm. Cause you got that look about you. I need to speak to the Lord Commander. We uh don't have one right now. It's Frostfinger you want. He'll get you sorted out. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. You fight like a girl. A wildling girl, maybe. Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath? And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart, <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again, <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall.
Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Wine's almost done. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder cripple. Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is a real first. shame about your leg. Well, who gives a toss? Don't let go of your sister now. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? Move! Now! Go on then, my lord. It's ridiculous. You're treating them like this. The wine guests. keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole... Duncan. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no army. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Then find me one, Sir Royland. That's no simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed. And our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. 
The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Just handle it. We could keep them fed, but take away their wine. Well, that'd be something at least. Good. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss... Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You have to be strong, Talia. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. We will make a sizable donation in the name of King Joffrey. A little presumptuous of you, Mira, but I like it. They'll be very grateful. And the seal. Here you are. Oh! Are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. 
Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... Dear Lady Elena... No, dearest Lady Elena... She took the seal with her. Hopefully a signature will do. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Elena of House Glenmore. I've never heard of the Glenmores. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. What about? Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with I've those? I've got them. Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. I think we'll get along fine. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the night's watch, Listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago to defend no. the realm from white. And I don't care. White you should. And all the other things that At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. I was stuck in him instead. Shut sure, up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diachrome are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? Got caught stealing a bag of them. You both need to stop talking. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cotter. Cotter the Potato Thief. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. Oh, I've got something for your sister. Don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Cottle, who was it? You're looking at the wrong recruit, sir. So it was someone else, then? Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. 
Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you... Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Bows up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Lucky. Not quite. Take that! Take that! Oh, Watch your bloody tongue. You, grab a practice sword. Hit those dummies where I tell you. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. I said in the chest. Come on, keep at it. Well four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. That was embarrassing to watch. You're doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these where I... Ah! Ah, my fucking God! Man's ready to shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Again. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Not bad. Centre, between the eyes. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. I 
Eric? You're the Castellan's nephew. What are you doing here? Lord Ethan judged me a thief. Should have taken my fingers. Instead, he sent me to the wall. I wish he had cut him off. If he had, I'd still be home with my family. Instead, I'm stuck here for life. Sounds like you got what you deserved. Of course you'd defend him. You're practically a forester yourself. Fucking foresters. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. Want some help? yourself, Tuttle. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his car. If the thing hasn't frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Garrett. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. do something. Just calm down. Fight. Oh! I won't say it again. Fuck! Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get him! There they go again. What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this. On your first bloody day of training. Sir, I... Not another word! You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. <laughs> <laughs> 